really excited for this. It's going to be a lot more sort of strategic, mm -hmm. I think, or evidently strategic. Obviously, there's, right, there's right. far more rapid, fast pace going on a map like Ragnarok. But coming on Grin Dungeons, we're going to have a good look uh, between power-ups and things like that, how they're positioning themselves, who's able to poke in through the shotgun area and do that damage. Um, even the lower areas. We didn't look at so much of the lower areas of the map, I feel, last time we spectated the Grim Dungeon, so I'd like to look uh, really on the rocket rail. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I mean, usually we know that one team is kind of like holed up down there, and they're trying to find a way to break mm -hmm. in either through quad, like the shotgun area, or the railgun, and yeah, regretting it each thing. time. I noticed, I noticed the map thing, so yes. that's, that's Grim Dungeons, guys. We're going to be going to that in just a moment, and we will have determined then who will be taking the $8,000 in the first uh, day. Yeah. Of the QuakeCon 2050 Trimasters Tournament. One day tournament. in the QuakeCon, we already have money exchanging hands. This yeah, is absolutely. Well, Tomorrow theory, we'll have yeah. it again up on, on <laughs> uh, CTF. <laughs> That's how it's going to work. Uh, this, this is really the sort of the Euro's dream day, essentially. Everything, hap everything has happened as planned. We now had to give them one. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> We will get there tomorrow, but yeah. right now, the game has started. This is the final TDM match. This is Deliberate Murder versus Meltdown. The winner will be the TDM champions here at QuakeCon 2015. I'm on Lincoln to begin with. Uh, he's just got himself a shotgun at the moment. Looks like he's just trying to establish what's going on. Nice little tap on Fortune. Was cool positioning out of Lincoln. Once again, at the beginning of this map, he just knows exactly where he needs to be. He saw that he had two, two and a half players already kind of covering the red armor room. And just, all right, cool, you guys got it. I'll make sure nobody bothers you for a while. Fortune's just like, why are you still here? Why are you going <laughs> this place? But Lincoln just spawned in that position, and he just held that position. Lincoln is cycling spawns now. He's just bouncing back and forth, and only with that shotgun. He's finally going to drop down for 25s, kind of begrudgingly. Okay, fine. But he's, we'll he's also else. setting up for this battle suit. He kind doesn't of, know that it's going to actually spawn in yeah. 15 seconds, so maybe Deliberate Murder are going to have to be able to get themselves nicely onto the items. They're getting the slightly lettuce there. We've got oh, a no. from wins. Fortune on one health only, and he's eventually going to be taken down by Zyrex. More <laughs> tunnels and just... Excellent. Did Action anybody everywhere. survive that? Okay, th everybody's dropping back in, and it's oh. going to be Lincoln, Lincoln the on oh, the so battle fast. suit. It's going to be Pavel on the quad. And Pavel's on the run here, he's just taking all the soft bodies he can and then leaving it up, and they keep coming up the jump pad. They're all dying at the Yo. moment, he's got a little oh, bit of Oh, and Lincoln left. goes down as well. What a shot, how many frags are he going to get that? Six, six frags. kills from Pavel, only six health left remaining. But they've actually just fled a little bit, they're kind of like, okay, we might need to be careful now, they're so weak getting back in. They managed to get themselves armor, health again, and they move back into uh, the red bizarre. area. bizarre, Pavel was the only one left there in the quad room, yeah. and when he died, you just saw immediately uh, MD just moved on in, as if nothing had happened. That was a great run out of Pavel, but it did not win them any position. Well, they're fighting over it right now, this is what is going on, and Cool is getting a bunch of kills, nice little rail at the end from wins, and that rocket is really going to help him zone people out, moving into the red room. The Tromi going to go down. I think that's Siring. Managed to secure the red armor, and it looks like Meltdown will have the red room. For now. For now. Teams are tied. That'll tie it back up. 20 to 20, just in a couple of minutes here. 44 is just insane. Yeah, you can see the little bit of murder setting back up, mm -hmm. kind of having, having a little coffee break by the yellow armor. I'll check out what uh, all their players are doing at the moment. There's Powell sitting in the top area. And there's a Tromi who's really covering this lower, lower part of the map. He's got no backup here. You don't want to get caught in that yellow armor room by yourself. Such difficult angles for him to they play. They really well. are. But he's doing a good job at it. He's, he's taking some damage, but he's keeping himself alive. Everybody knows where he is. Everybody knows where he wants to move. They might be, just be able to lock him down here for some amount of time. I think it's cooler at the moment though, he's being thrusted with the main stack. And with 15 seconds yep. left until bounce, are they going to just sit on the quad? He's got LG, that's uh, what else do you need? Oh, oh what? Lincoln <laughs> somehow hits these just peak shots. Uh, so now once he gets this quad, forward isn't really the way forward. Not that I would say. Picked it up okay, exactly at the same time. Another YA. So let's just check the wind. Wind right. is going to be 100-200. Cooler, what are you going to do? Because they need to break into that red room. Forward. Everybody's moving forward. This is just a kamikaze, really. But Wins actually moves into the shotgun room, making it very difficult for them to just keep their forward oh, momentum, oh, oh. allowing everybody else to take those pop shot rails from afar. That was great positioning. 
Yeah, using wins yeah, just yeah. as a body blocker, essentially, to keep them in the room. And keep cooler, them up. cooler pushed past, and he just walked into two people who he couldn't aim yeah. at yet because he's there too well, far Well, he was away. frustrated. He didn't want to deal with, with Battle Suit right now. He wanted to get in the red armor room. Exactly. That's where the kills were. That's where the money was. <laughs> but he couldn't make it. 26 to 26, though. Despite that not being a, a slightly failed effort from Zero Murder, they're holding it together because the combat skills are good, and they're still trying to contest in this red room. Zyrinx, he's weak, and Chami getting a very important round just there. Five seconds until Red's up. He gets the 50, which is going to give him more energy. He's just missing the last couple of rounds, and Zyrinx eventually... Is he going to take it down? Zyrinx just doesn't care. What? He's just walking forward. <laughs> he's going to look probably down to six health. Something about Zyrinx, man. Have they won the room, though? Have they won the room? They, they certainly have. They've taken the Red Armor room. But the, I, think, I think there's still MD players coming in. Oh, here they yeah, come. They've snuck in. They've got the stack for it, and they're going to take three seconds. It's going to be Lincoln waiting a little while, trying to hatch an egg. Delirium Murder at no point actually took the red armor, so they right. were still so weak. Well, they had the room. That's nice. They had they the room. They could put that on their CV. <laughs> so 31 and 32 now. And yeah, this is what I like seeing out of Lincoln, just He's those so hot shot rails. Make them utterly regret being that's, anywhere near that That's card. how you counter it. That's what you have to do. That's yep. what we saw at average of not being able to do before, but yeah. they, they pushed in too far at that point. Yeah. You gave them too much. You pushed them out of the little sort of bendy corridor. But that, maybe they want to push in a bit further. Three of them out, all of a sudden, Lincoln is just backing off. He's like, let me just get some rail shots. And he is left. Battle suit <laughs> up in a moment. Up and down, up and down. Cool as though. He's got a stack, and this is a perfect time for him to move in. He's got the lightning gun. Lincoln, he's pretty weak at the moment. Yeah, he's still down there. Cooler might find him. Oh no, nobody knows where he is. He's able to take that lap from. Alright, Cool is over on the other side. He's going to get a frag onto Zyrinx. He sees him there still. He's got teammates. Everyone's going to come out. They're going to let the teammates out first, and then he can push in. The switch is up for a while. Lincoln, he's hitting another rail. Eight health left for Cooler. Lincoln, he keeps hitting these damn rails. One Jeez. more. What a menace. I love what Cooler did, allowing the rest of his team to kind of move forward and spread out, but Cooler did not assert a decent position oh. where he can make good on it. What? <sighs> so 37 to 44 is still incredibly close, but the fight for the Red Armor Room continues. It's, it's actually a pretty fast-paced Grim Dungeon, I'd say. It really is. I mean, they, re they really understand the value of holding this red room, so even if they kind of stop maybe a minute before the power, when that power-up comes, that's when the challenge will begin again. Neither team wants to settle away. for that yellow armor yeah. quad area. Not for longer than no, just a single power-up rotation. Right. 43 or 48, Lincoln's getting back into the spot. He doesn't have a rail, however, so as Fortune comes around, he's going to need backing to take him down. Well, so he's actually going to push out here. This is, uh, considering his weapons, this is okay. He's he's got got a a bit. as well, though. Yeah, pushing him from the other side, but now that he's lost him, uh, well, Pavel's at 1 HP. That's that's great. <laughs> just, uh, just drop. Was he trying to die? He looked no, a little no, disappointed, he, actually. Okay. He, he, <laughs> he's got a little soft pad on the side of the bounce yeah, pad. Yeah, yeah. He just wanted some HP somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. yeah. Left. No. Now he's got that rail, but this is not a great place for it. Watch now with the red armor. Cooler's actually stacked up pretty well as well. Not Trump's not taking too many of these rails. So that finally, oh, that 50 shot. finally comes up, but he's not going to go to him. Toxic taking him down, flushing out the lower dungeons. And it's going to be Cooler on the quad once again. This yeah. time, he doesn't have anybody to provide backup. He needs to be able to commit to this red armor. And Lincoln actually isn't oh, going to be rocket out. jumping up. This is actually kind of big. Cooler's stack. He yeah, just he took red as well. Yep. That might be a fatal error there. From, and Lincoln takes a direct rocket immediately. And he, looked, he took the long way around, allowing Cooler to get that red armor. If Lincoln had immediately rocket jumped back up to the red armor room, he would have caught Cooler coming out of the red. They've been a great vantage point. But this, is, this isn't good for MD. They needed to get over to the other side. I'm going to go over to Cooler and see what he's doing. He's waiting in this choke point, hoping that someone's going to press forward and he can get a direct rocket. The little motor looks like they're poised to get themselves at least tied up and back into the lead. It's a decent rocket ending, right? Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> it's down here by three frags. Now that they're, they're able to breathe a little bit more in the red armor room. I want to switch around uh, the players at Latromi. He's down as well. Havel. I mean, there's so many people stacked up at the moment for deliberate murder. This is really scary for Meltdown. Fortune's kind of on his own. He's like this all... Wow, Wind's getting some good damage. <laughs> a mutual frag in the end. That's a high value kill. 
Oh, goes back down. He wanted to get the weapon, but there's uh, two MD players. Even the damage values for everybody here are, are remarkably close mm -hmm. to each other. We've got, you know, the one lead out is Lincoln with that 3.3k, undoubtedly, due to his uh, corridor rails. But everybody else is pretty much neck and neck. Teams are tied. Pavel's playing Lincoln's role at the moment. Yeah. I mean, I, I, we've seen this either. before where they kind of like. They, they rotate out and they let other people get the red armor. It's, it's, it's a good play. I like wow. it. Wow, what just happened to Latromi? I was just looking at his health bar on the, the top left and he just completely disintegrated. Pavel is going to go for 100, 160, and I want to see what he's going to do getting towards the battle suit. He's got a good drop down here. He's got plenty of armor for it. Still rather early. He wants to be up on the balcony, however. But here's Toxic, and now we finally see the item trade between MD and DM. <laughs> Oh, oh cool. no! That is huge right But now. that's a shut-down battle suit at any rate. But they might just have to forfeit this room at the moment. Toxic's uh. got the quad damage, he's got LG, he's got a lot of armor. They, they had that room for two solid runs, now it's just completely gone. Yeah, I, I think right now, they're just trying to work out exactly where was the quad, how can we avoid him for that period of time. I don't know if they want to go back into the red room straight away, or if they're just going to relegate themselves towards the lightning gun side mm. of the map, I don't know. and then make the push over at the next rotation. Mm. Historically, I want to say the latter, but there's a lot of time to eat, and they're going to be just uh, losing out to just hot shot rails from time to time, um, unless Toxic is able to uh, is able to play Lincoln here. Okay, Lincoln's taken over for him. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, man. This is where. Uh, Look at how far he pushed. Oh, jeez! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah. Hey now! Oh, he oh where did Lab come from? All right. Oh, nicely done by Pavel. I think Toxic was looking for the rail. He really wanted that. He's <laughs> still be there. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> These are some nice frags that they're at middle again. And considering how awful that was at the battle suit when Cooler went down into the pit, you know they're making up for it quite nicely. Let's let's go over to Cooler. That uh, that was a clever way to deal with the. The hallway problem. They just weren't worried. I think there's spawns in the in the shotgun area or something. They just had no information and his back turned. What can you do? Yep. Check Zyrinx. So five frags between them. And Zyrinx and crew are still ready ready for that red armor. We're not seeing that push just yet. It's gonna be a few more seconds as you predict. But at least they made sure that they're not gonna be just losing out rails thanks mm -hmm. to Lincoln from time to time. I mean, pummel them down, no problem. Ugh. Gotta remember that one. They're going to have a cooler run right now to start the quad damage. Yep. He's going to go towards the battle suit. There's actually quite a lot of time, so I wonder what he can do here. Someone's going to jump down. Is he going to go for it? He's just going to get killed here. Shooting more. gallery. Holy wow. crap. Wow. Cooler. Is he going to get a double power up at the moment? He's managed to get off safely as well. Zyrinx, he's going to die. Teammate gets the kill for him. Pushed into the red room. This is gold right now. Gold for deliberate murder. Room. He wants to push a bit further. He doesn't just want to control this room. He's going to go absolutely flying. Where's the rest of his team? Everywhere. Where's the rest of his team pushing up forward? They need that pincer. I th no, I think the teammates are like, okay, we'll get rid of you just go on a rampage right now. <laughs> what Cooler needs to do at the end of this battle suit is get back to the red Catch armor. Catch you in a minute. Very oh, sick yeah. from Cooler. Nice. And he's still got a bit of stack, and the other enemies don't really have weapons. There's one rocket that they're going versus, and Cooler's still got ammunition somehow. He's gonna go top up the HP. And that's a good job. Deliberate Murder are currently in the lead. We've got eight minutes left of this. Meltdown, the favorites, might not necessarily be winning here. I have to take it all the way back to those pummels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pummels were huge, <laughs> like, weren't they? Game-changing double pummels. They, they broke the stride, for sure. <laughs> By 83 to 74. Because they had such a lockdown, but they pushed so far forward, and they yeah. just got totally rattled by that. So this is perhaps the second or third time that we've seen Deliberate Murder hold down the Red Armor Room. But MP's done a pretty good job of taking Fortune. it back over. Oh my god, Fortune. It's good. Oh, oh no. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> oh, no. It was just a bit too good, you know? He needs to get... So this, we could have another double power-up again. Like, Deliberate Murder are setting up for exactly that. Oh, this 2-2 split. I mean, if they keep coming up with a jump pad like that, then sure. This is a total Preview. breakdown for, for, for Meltdown. Fortune trying nice. to stay alive. <laughs> a little alley -oop. Wow, nice. there's so many frags going in the way of Deliberate Murder at the moment. The Russians are looking so amazingly this strong. This is bizarre. I mean, Deliberate Murder is actually kind of giving up the Red Armor Room right now. I mean, okay, they left Cooler to babysit it. Whatever. I mean, Wins is just in and out. He doesn't mm -hmm. care about Cooler at all. 
but it's hard to, to deny oh. it. What's he going to do? He can't <laughs> get it. Toxic's going to pick it up instead. It's like, yeah. when's you're on your own, mate. You deal with your issues. So You've I don't think Deliberate Murder was really aiming to trade that Red Armor Room for a position on the quad, but MD players just kept coming at them and just feeding them frags. It's hard to say no to a buffet like that. I think the fact that the quad died almost immediately it gave nothing for Deliberate Murder to work with then. It's given, I'm amazed actually that Meltdown was able to get back at this map so quickly. Just at the next power up when Deliberate Murder have everything running for them. Cox now, he needs to hit hard. Was that the strat? We just need to die 20 times in the wrong place so that they go to the wrong place too? It was all, <laughs> like, it was all mind games here, all mind games. I mean, it works in cool. <laughs> <laughs> Three frags between them at the moment. Six minutes and we'll have a victor or an overtime. No sooner were the words out of my mouth that Deliberate Murder can, you know, sit on the Red Armor Room and just kind of play that strategic game now. They just completely gave it up. They went, hey, they're just coming I up the jump pad. Come. It's raining men. Come get them. They're gonna come. They're gonna come back to the next. After the next power up, they're gonna have to challenge again. Quad is so much sooner. If anything, so Meltdown messy. might even challenge Quad uh, as well. So I think there's. I don't. I don't know about another red. The time between this red and the, this next red, sorry, and the quad, I think is too soon. I think they're gonna have to just push for it, and the red will be left up. Yeah, deliberate murder is gonna need to do something really clever here. You're right, they do have the potential to get a double power up. Toxic is ready to close it in. They took the long way around there, plenty of time to make it happen. Cooler. Is Cooler gonna be able to survive it? Not so much. He's able to take Toxic down to 52 and, well, 24. Thought Drum is also trying to make this happen. Pavel over here trying to do some good damage. Toxic is so weak at the moment. Siring. Siring for the quad, okay. What can he do with it? He's, he's so weak though. 10 seconds left, and now Deliberate Murder, they might be able to set up for the battle suit. Zarnx does find a couple of resources. This is pretty tense at the moment. Look at all the oh puddle no. bits! What? There's just people dying <laughs> flying into the, into the pit of death. 19 health. The team is absolutely tied right now. A double power up for Zyrinx. And he, he doesn't manage to save himself the red armor. He's tremendously weak. And there's no health at all for him anywhere. You got battle suit, but you got nothing else. And there's Pavel, he's <laughs> trying to kill him. Down to three. Oh, jeez. Three Still health against him. On it. And Latron finally takes him on down. It's a good spawns as well for him. They're going to be able to challenge right now for the red armor. They don't have power-ups to go against. This is absolutely tense. Deliberate murder. They need to get all men in here, or they just need to back off and wait for the next power-up. There are going to be only two power-ups remaining, I think. If I can add up correctly. That's a tough choice right now. It is. I think I think they're backing off. I think they realize it's so tight at the moment. We do not need to sacrifice ourselves too much. That means they're going to default to quad and give up that... Uh, I mean, the, the timers are so far apart now. We've got almost, what, 20 seconds between mm -hmm. quad and battle suit? That's insane. It is. So it, it means that they're going to get that quad first. They'll have time to force the fight over to the battle suit. And they need to do pretty much exactly what wins did. I mean, that's, that's the plan. That little setup that Deliberate Murder had on the battle suit was just crazy. They had two or three people sort of on the other side. They just weren't ready for home. somebody to walk in with, you know, rockets blazing, just like a shooting gallery. Yeah, but they, they kept it close. Yeah, yeah. The fact that uh, they met the Zyrex got the double power up and just had so few resources, he couldn't actually stretch the lead very far. Look how hard. Nice for, for Deliberate Murder. Look how hard Cooler's baiting right now. Just asking for these one on one fights that, you know, hey, you want to play duel with me right now? He's got nothing, he's got no <laughs> ammo. Oh, geez. Zero uh, everything. And Cyrus doesn't even care about the AL armor, he needs to be on this, is this quad, quad. Free, free quad right now. Free Wins. I wasn't expecting MD to get quad. This is dangerous. This is uh, not good for Deliver Murder. What, what the hell is Deliver Murder going to do right now, though? Uh, they just, they just <laughs> all bounce down. It's like, right, there's the shooting gallery here. Uh, they're going to get fresh spawns is what they're going to do. Oh, they, they're going to give it. So, Wins has got the quad, Tox has got the battle suit on a very small amount of health, and Wins is just going to go, and he's looking for kills. There's a 10 track separation Why between are they the two up teams. Here? Oh, man. And now Tox is just, well, I'll use the battle suit to secure red. I think that's a very smart move from Meltdown. The fact that it was a catastrophic for them earlier on, and they've made such a positive out of it. They're trying to take him down, it's just pointless. You, you need to run away. But if you run away, you're going to walk into the rest of Meltdown bar. <laughs> this is horrific. The fact that Deliberate Murder just completely fell apart on that quad. I mean, uh, actually, I kind of have to give it to MD. They anticipated that, okay, they're going to draw that line mm -hmm. right there. Uh, they're going to expect that we do this while, you know, we, we just take our polite items as we have our turns. Nope. We're just going to stack up, go through the dungeon. 
But well, Cooler was there to warn them that they were coming through the dungeon, too. Him going down was not beneficial, but we've now got 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Not even that, 1 and 45. I'm sorry, yeah. That's just nothing now. They they have to push before the power-ups. Yeah, don't, they I have don't know. to. Maybe uh, if they take Quad, there's going to be 60 seconds left. Battle suit. I mean, battle suit might last till near enough the end of the game. And again, Lincoln just comes in with a peak shot. Don't Fortune play is. this game with Lincoln. Lincoln wins this game. <laughs> Lincoln has been exceptional on this part of the map. Five health left. All of a sudden, there's nothing for him to play with. I'm going to go over to Pavel now. 100, 100. They're going to wait for the quad. The man. They're setting up on the quad. Pavel right now has got to go so clutch if he wants to bring his team to victory here on Grim They're going to push up again. Yeah, exactly. They're going to push up the jump pad. They're going to push up from Yellow Armor, and they're going to pincher this quad. That's it. Good damage, though, from Pavel, but it's just simply not enough. We've got one rail. Lincoln fairly weak at the moment, but there's still 16 frags between them. I don't know what Deliberate Murder can do at the moment. Pavel gets the pummel. <laughs> But is this going to be enough? He's going to get two frags. We've got the battle suit up in five seconds. Is there going to be any disruptions whatsoever? Pavel getting ready to take it. Can he get off quick enough? The railer has been taken down. That's huge. One rail for Pavel. quad now. 13 uh, frags. 30 seconds. And he's just going in. Look at all the damage on the rockets. Directs Negative. everywhere. Grenades as well coming out. He's on 10 health. They clean up everything. But have they got enough time? They're, they're going to be uh, delaying sports. Wow. What a shot there from Pavel. <laughs> 20 That's seconds. Gonna do it. Meltdown bar are so close. MD to wasn't victory. even gonna politely wait for for the battle suit on that last uh, cycle of items. They just went I straight think, in for the it. quad. And their timing on, on coming in on that quad was almost perfect. It would have been nice if they came up from yellow armor a little bit sooner That's it. as everybody was coming up the jump pad, but that, that is it guys. That we'll is do it. gonna be 2-1 to Meltdown Bar. 136 to 127. They are gonna be the TDM champions here at QuakeCon 2015. And yeah, that did come down to some pretty crazy moments. For a long time I thought, well I say a long time, until they messed it all up. I thought Deliberate Murder was gonna take that. Getting the double power up. The amount that they were controlling the entire map. They weren't controlling red, they were controlling everything. Three times I thought, okay, Deliberate Murder has now got to control the Red Armor Room. We've seen them here before, they know how to mm -hmm. take this, they know how to branch out from there and collapse in and, and play a very conservative game. Mm -hmm. We've seen how they can just like take one frag at a time and just go the whole map that way. Every single time they did that, yeah. they immediately went, okay, let's go get quad now, and they just gave it up. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end, MD was just completely impolite yeah. and uh, wouldn't even let them have that quad. They just pinched right in on it. Yeah, I mean, they were so good at just anticipating where they thought their natural mm -hmm. item was going to be. Didn't let him have it. Uh, Lincoln was having an awesome game as well. The yeah, fact that he's yeah. just able to constantly do damage and limit the resources that Deliberate Murder had to play with on every occasion that they uh, relegated themselves to the LG side of the room, I thought that was amazingly important for them. There were some big, big plays by Deliberate Murder as well, and there was maybe too many moments for us to discuss during that map. but. Uh, some of the power-up pitfalls that we had as well, that was uh, was nasty for some of the individuals, especially it's when it happened. I think it was Cooler fell into the pit. That was a pretty yeah, pivotal yeah. moment. That's when it opened up everything for MD to come back into it. And uh, eventually, they were able to lock down. The power-ups being split on the timing for so much, so much between them, it, it makes it really hard. When you've got two power-ups spawning at the same time, you know, you can, ch you can challenge for them one quite easily, the, right. the weaker one because you know that the other team has and to And then you the can kind of take it from there and see yeah. how you can route it out. But, but because yeah. it was delayed, MD's just like, well, we have, to, we have to go for both of them. If we don't go for both of them, then we're just for we're potentially forfeiting or risking the game. Right. So they reacted amazingly to that. And even though it was good play from Deliberate Murder, they, they didn't have the foresight at that point, didn't see things going wrong with the Which is weird suit. because they had the foresight to sneak somebody behind the corridor and whip out the gauntlet. I mean, that was a that was big that play. Was that helped them yeah. get in so much, but... <laughs> Uh, ultimately, gave them that lead for a little while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ultimately, uh, it is going to be Meltdown Bar that are going to be the TDM champions, and the seeding pretty accurate, to be fair. Like, dead accurate. Yeah. So <laughs> they take it, not without a fight. They don't get the full 20 points. They're going to get 19 points, oh, no. and that's going to be 16 points for Deliberate Murder. So still pretty good for them. But can Deliberate Murder make up some points in CTF, which is not their forte, and uh, also in Duel, can Cooler or Pavel work some magic with them then? Uh, so and we have also been saying that Toxic's team, you know, uh, MD has been kind of a favorite in all three. You know, mm -hmm. they have strong elements for all three days. We've got to say, uh, also, Deliberate Murder averages break the curse and anything is possible. They are the rest of the top five and we'll be filling out uh, 
this leaderboard as the week progresses. But nothing nice, but anything is possible to get things going, actually. I think that's a, yeah. a brick, that's fear. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a CTF team. That is yeah, like a I straight up CTF team. They came out on top of uh, you know, Rafa's team, Dahang's team. Mm -hmm. I mean, fair play to them. That's, that's yeah. really good going. Them pulling points in something that isn't CTF actually bodes very well for tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I maybe missed the point. I think iGamers might not have come top five there. So I think a European You're, you're right. Team. Holy crap. I was yeah. looking at fifth. I think we were recording iGamers. Making, too, making rude assumptions again. And uh, I think it was actually. Um, yeah, have a, have a look for us. Yeah, uh, break, the, break took uh, iGamers down 3 0 yeah. in round four. Wow. So iGamers actually came seventh overall. And how many points do they have? They have. Uh, 2 2 0. No. Uh, set win six. Oh, they got 10 points, I think. Yeah, ten, They've got 10, 10 points, points overall. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, they, they get some decent points. Ghost Squad actually came above them. That's the Chilean team. Yeah, it is. They came sixth, so really nice. And found and Rafa's team are actually uh, an eighth overall. So, a very interesting TDM results in the end, to be honest. It'll a be great, nice a great setup overall. Yeah, just fantastic games mm -hmm. all day. I mean, of course, the, you know, kind of following the top teams, you know, we're dealing with teams that aren't known for losing a map. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know there are some closer ones in there, but uh, we, we might have an opportunity to take a look at those later. Yeah. I am uh, looking forward to talking to the guys who were part of those games yes. later on tonight. Yes. But right now we've got an interview. I believe Memento Mori is sitting with Wins, uh, the yeah. captain of Meltdown Bar, who just won uh, the TDM. So let's take it over to them. Quick on 2015, uh, we are here with the Meltdown team. Uh, they just won the TDM tournament. Uh, congratulations, guys. Just uh, a round of how, how do you feel right now? <laughs> well, I feel relieved, like, because we lost the first one. We kind of did some, uh, a few mistakes, and that's what cost us the game. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, quite happy because the M14, it was really hard to get back into the game. But uh, we managed to do it, get back control and get a few powers back. So, yeah, uh, I'm just relieved. I'm really happy now. Well, pretty much the same. Um, yeah, we kind of screwed up on Purgatory on the power up, to be honest. Uh, they stole. We've only two or three people the BL quite a few times, while they are still have one on the quad, so we had double power up multiple times. But, yeah, we got it back on the second and third map, though. <laughs> Yeah, in general, I'm very pleased with our game, but there were some moments in each map that were kind of scary when we lost like both power-ups to them. It was uh, going, uh, we were going down fast and they catch up in scores a lot. But uh, as soon as we get the control, it feels like uh, we have such a more powerful way to get frags and like we only have a bit trouble when we are out of control, but yeah, really nice. How did you react to that? Like, I think everyone, when they saw Cooler with the two power-ups, it was like, whoa, like everyone just died immediately. So, so what, what was your communication? What were you saying? <laughs> well, basically at that point, it's just about hiding. You can't challenge him. Like, uh, so there's like, each player have to think that you if you die once, like if uh, everyone in the team die, die w once, you lose four frags, and the frags is like just coming. So I think it's about just staying calm and just telling where he's he's coming from, so you don't get too excited and and uh, start playing a different uh, strategy game, I guess. Um, so uh, you played, of course, a number of matches today. Uh, we, you only lost a map in, in the final, otherwise you won everything. Um, I think against Break, uh, the first two maps, I think that they were Ragnarok and Dreadful Places, if I'm not mis mistaken. And they were sort of close in the score. Um, I don't know if you have any feedback about that or any thoughts of, of those matches. Well, we had never played the Americans before, and they played um, strange. strange. Yeah, that's <laughs> the word I think. They played weird. Uh, they were playing on the 
on the yellow side of Ragnarok, which uh, no, no, nobody in the EU actually do. So we got a bit surprised and we actually had to adapt during the game and actually get the ball rolling at some point. Dreadful, yeah, it's pretty much the same. They actually didn't go for the red at all. And we, we got all, most of the mega, we just have to adapt to that as well. If Tox agrees, then it's settled. Um, and what about the match against Averagers? I think also there, the last two maps were very, very close. Um, sorry, say something. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm just glad we... <laughs> cross, uh, really cross, okay. Um, yeah, I guess that we just played our game. And yeah, they aim good and deal damage. So I guess it was fair that it was close. Um, yeah, I think we played a lot with practice games and uh, I guess we had some like different views on what to do in TDM and yeah, I'm just glad we beat them and it's over pretty much. So of course guys, you, you now won TDM, which I guess was uh, your first uh, main goal uh, for the tournament. Uh, we have next two important days with uh, CTF and Duo. Um, so, are you already thinking about that? Um, right now, now we just ended CDM. So I guess we'll talk about CTF now after uh, tonight, maybe after dinner. But I think we're gonna relax a bit. But yeah, obviously CTF is one of our main goal as well. Uh, we worked hard for that. So obviously wanted to win CDM and CTF. And I guess also talks can create an upset in 101. So yeah, we. We're thrilled right now, and uh, we're ready to play CTF. Okay. <laughs> hey. All right, then congratulations, guys. Uh, it was really a fantastic show, uh, really thrilling. Uh, and I guess we'll see more of you tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, of course. Um, I just want to say uh, thanks, uh, shout out to Meldon and uh, TeamSpeak for sending us her there because uh, it was a hard call for us. We weren't 100% weren't, uh, sure to come here. So yeah, big thanks for to them. So yeah. I think, I think there is even people at the bar now watching. Uh, yeah, in London. They yes, yeah. yeah. So that, that's great, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, any final words or anything? <laughs> All right, so this was uh, Team Meltdown Bar, uh, they just won TDM QuakeCon 2015. Those are some awesome shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are. I hope we're going to be getting lots of uh, pictures of them as uh, the week progresses. Yeah, um, that Viking beard. Yeah, I think, I think they're a scary, scary team for CTF as well. I'm yep. saying that the Americans are the favorites because you get angry for saying uh, no, anything else. You're going to stop whining on. at me, but the Euros <laughs> are going to win this year. Suck it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be too mad about that. Um, not with that team because, uh, as we've stated before, yeah. they're just overall, no, they, they work well together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I mean, on, on, like a on a serious note. Almost all their note. matches, like all their, their scores were like yeah, even. Yeah. I, on a really serious note, though, I mean, today was really a, uh, an event about two teams, in my opinion, Deliver Murder and Meltdown. Tomorrow is, is, an, is, is an event of I don't know, several teams. Yeah. Uh, and I've been called out that we've got some stats of the whole tournament to look at. Oh, so my. Look oh at those wow. numbers. Let's, let's get our heads forward. Hello. The Tromi has the most kills. You don't actually see an MD. I hope we can get this up for a while so we can just like analyze it. Guys yeah. at home, let me print your screen because there's some fun stuff to look at over here. Uh, Latromi, 638, not, not, just not far behind actually getting a bunch. And Demon as well with loads and loads of frags. Uh, Lincoln wins, Toxic, they're all up there in the top 10. Powell making a, getting a bunch of stuff. And the net as well. Noctis with an enormous net. See, I told you, Noctis. The best, TD, one of the best TDMs around. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. that's it. Look at that, 290 net. They came third, Which is I think. A hundred more than Latrami net. More than, yeah. Well, yeah, that's his that KDRs are crazy. Just off the chain. Faz and Sparty leading the way with uh, impressive. So you know that's two rails in a row that they're landing. Uh, Latrami at the top of excellence. So just picking up you know rampages essentially. 
and uh, with the average damage dealt. That's, that's where Latromi is higher up, so he might not necessarily be picking up the kills, but he is doing extraordinary amounts of damage. But uh, that, that net for Noctis is just... I just don't know if we have a card for gauntlet kills. <laughs> there were so many critical ones. Like, that, I'm not being funny. They were just... Uh, there were critical gauntlet kills in these maps. There, there, there really were. <laughs> um, yeah, we can, we can take it back now. There's some lots of fun stats there, and I hope they're going to be posted up uh, yeah. later on. And I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it, but uh, I have made, with among my team of people, yeah. a QuakeCon Trimaster Tournament trumps a card game on FPSPulse.com. Uh, so you can check out, and you'll be, you'll be able to see a big play trumps now kind of button. Uh, maybe there's a couple of people in chat who will try and spam a link or something, but you can play card games with the QuakeCon players on them, compare some stats, which we're probably going to have to review as the week goes uh, on, yeah, as players yeah. are just doing everything to make all these objective stats. And you're giving out a prize uh, uh, this Sunday for uh, um, So, around. yeah, there's going to be some prizes as well that I'll try and give out. We'll get some QuakeCon merchandise, um, so... Uh, yeah, do have a look at that. And it's definitely good as well if you're trying to wait for some streams to have them, uh, our streams to have the matches starting and things like that, or if you can come play at the same time. So, do have a look at that. But CTF tomorrow. Are there any, anything you're just looking forward to? Not like a prediction or a winner or someone to do something uh, or a team to do amazing, but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the map pool. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to see some, some of my favorites, some really fast ones, actually. It's going to be a little bit different than today, actually. Uh, also, the, the dual map pool is also like the TDM one, like very cranial, a lot of like what you would maybe call slower maps. Mm -hmm. um, but CTF is going to be like yeah. intense. So we've got in Infinity, Pillbox, yep. Spider Crossings, Japanese Castles, and Ironworks. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's going to be the map pool that we'll see tomorrow. I'm, I really want to see Ghost Squad. That's, yeah. that's one thing. Yeah. I, I don't... Be Not uh, bothered about. I would love to see them do well, but I would love to just see them play. Because they said that they're going to get top three. Yeah. In CTF. And that's a, that's you that's, have to have confidence most, to yeah. say that. And to be fair, I was not expecting them to do that in TDM. They say that they're useless in TDM. And if they're still able to out aim is, uh, some players who. Is sixth place useless out of 16? That's not useless at no. all. That is <laughs> that's not great. They're, that's they're fantastic. They finish above iGamers. Yeah. You know, and those guys can aim. Really, and I think that shows that Ghost Squad can aim, and if they've got that synergy in the CTF, uh, I, 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 synergy, hope, I, go, I yeah. cross my fingers that not get the thing get top three, but to get them in the top five bracket, so we see mm -hmm. them on there at the end. I think that would be brilliant. Um, over ten years since a European team won CTF, is it going to be the moment where they manage to do it? Is it going to be meltdown? I have no idea. Averages actually, I think, will be more of a threat in CTF than yeah, they will yeah. be in TDM. Um, you haven't mentioned break yet for some reason. Because we all know they're the favorites. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Good. But they are. Good. They, they straight up are. I think yeah. it's Breaker seeded first, Meltdown seeded yep. second. Yep. I think it's something like that. And then AIP actually got fifth place here, and they're seeded yep. uh, fourth. Foundum, I think, is seeded third. Yep, yep. So with us, uh, Rafa, Zero Four, Saigib, and Clock. Um, and we are going to be getting, uh, hopefully, an interview with the whole team tomorrow at some point. But what we're going to do now is we are going to close out the day. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 CDT, which I believe will be uh, 6 p.m. Central European Summer Time and 5 p.m. Uh, British Summer Time. So um, there is going to be a bit of a pregame show as well. So tune in early for that, and we'll hopefully have some more people to talk to uh, as well. So anything you want to touch on, Draha, or should we call it a day? I am so excited for CTF. Yeah. I'm actually like, let's... Start yeah, right now. I'm, I'm yeah. buzzing for it. So, guys, thanks very much. We'll see you tomorrow for more QuakeCon 2015.